Hey guys and welcome. In this video, we are going to model FGMs in Abacus. In this regard, we have to answer to two questions. First, what are FGMs? And second, how we can model them in Abacus. FGM stands for functionally graded material, in which the material properties vary with, for example, coordinates. An example is according to this image, a disk that its mechanical properties are functions of radius, for example, elastic modulus, density, or we can say thermal conductivity and etc. It is known that we cannot model these materials in Abacus using conventional ways since we cannot relate mechanical properties to, for example, coordinates. Some might say we can do it using partitioning and defining several material properties, however, if the equation between properties and coordinates here, this equation f, was highly nonlinear, we should find another way. One simple way is to use the USCFL subroutine, which I'm going to demonstrate using an example. Assume we have a body that its elastic modulus changes with material points distances from the origin. Or simply put, our elastic modulus is dependent on d. We can easily calculate d using mathematical expressions and we have to assume an equation that relates d to elastic modulus. In this example, I have assumed that the blue area has the elastic modulus of 100 megapascals to 200 megapascal. Next, we have 200 to 300 and the rest has 300 to 400 and above that the shaded area has for example 400 megapascals for elastic modulus so we have to find the distances of material points or better say the integration points from the origin and somehow relate this distance to the elastic modulus. Next, I'm going to show how we can implement these ideas into a USCFLD sub. Now let's get more specific with our example. The body has dimensions one to three meters as shown in the figure. We assume that the elastic modulus depends on material points distances from the origin. So we assume that when D equals to these values changes in E will be made. For instance, when D equals to 1 meter, the elastic modulus is in range of 200 to 300 megapascals. Continuing with the CAE modeling, I have constructed the model. Uh, the step is static general with nonlinear geometry set to on. And I've used C3D8 elements to mesh the part and the body uh, is under tension load as shown in the figure. Now with the most important section of this modeling, the material properties. So we assume that the Young modulus is dependent on the distances. So we have four different Young modulus 100 megapascals, 200, 300, and 400 megapascals with a constant Poisson's ratio uh, equal to 0.3. And we have four different field variables. Remember that changes in E will be made when the distances are equal to half, 1.5, and 2.5. Also, the field uh, equal to zero must be uh, specified here. An interesting thing is that Abacus has the option to interpolate between the fields. So if you don't want to specify exact values like I did here, exact discontinuous values, you can define fields in the subroutine as a function of a continuous function. Moreover, we have to define the user defined field in order to use our USCFL subroutine and the dependent variable uh, for our subroutine and I'm going to use only one STV here and that will be our distances. Next I'm going to show how our subroutine will be. Continuing with the subroutine, for convenience we put coordinates 1, 2, 
3 into parameters x, y, z respectively. Now we want to use the original distances, in another words, the initial configuration. So we have to use the distances in increment 1 and preserve them for later. If not, we can only use the, the calculations and we don't have to use the uh, if statement here. Finally, we use an if condition to define the fields based on the distances. Remember that we only have one field here and it is pretty straightforward. The tricky part is that we don't want any miscalculations here. Thus, I've used uh, round numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3 for field 1 to utilize the interpolation functions of Abacus. Now, let's check the results. Now, if you run the job using the subroutine and request field variable 1 and STV from the field output request, you can see that the STV values are calculated here which are the distances from the origin here and the amount of field variable 1 as you can see it here. Also we can observe the uh, von Mises values here despite the fact that the body was under uh, a uniform tensile load you can see that the amount of uh, von Mises stresses differ from each other which indicate the fact that the elastic modulus is calculated differently for material points. This concludes our video. If you find this video useful, please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Take care.